Hey guys, Megan Rapp of Rapsy and Brooms here today to talk about how to make a one-of-a-kind and individual piece. The way you go about finding and making these pieces is having a little bit different filter than other people when looking at items. For instance, we had a garden gnome that had a tragic accident. However, when I picked up its pieces, I found its foot. And you can see this foot right here. And when I saw this foot, instead of seeing trash, I saw an adorable succulent planter in the making. So that's what I'm going to show you today, is how to take this gnome foot that was could be some trash and make it into an adorable planter. Our first step is going to be covering the gnome's foot in a beautiful metallic gold spray paint. I'm using Design Masters 24 Karat Pure Gold. You can find this spray paint in a craft store. Make sure when spray painting to give short and thin coats. You don't want it to go on too heavy. It may take a couple coats with some dry time in between, but you don't want to get those drips. Make sure you shake it well first, and then start spraying. After two coats of spray paint, our gnome's foot is now a beautifully gilded gnome's foot. So now it's ready to plant. I've gathered together here some beautiful green succulent kind of ground cover, and then I have some dirt here as well. So we are just gonna start by putting a little bit of dirt into the foot, pushing it all the way back there. And then we're going to pull off some of this plant to just get a nice draping greenery coming out of the foot. Now that you've painted and potted your plant, the last thing to do is place it. But if you're like me, this may be the hardest step yet because this thing looks so darn cute everywhere. For now, I think it'll hang out on the mantle, but you never know where it's going to pop up next. I hope you like this fun and quirky project. Thanks so much for watching.